Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Yay! Hi stars, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Danika. Definitely make sure you're subscribed. Today is my birthday. I just turned 25 and I'm recording this video actually the day before. So today isn't my birthday yet, but I wanted to spend this day with my subscribers, with my stars. I wanted to take the time this year to really just celebrate this milestone that I'm achieving today and Yes, I'm so happy to have lived 25 years and I just wanted to share everything that I've learned um, till this point. So if you're interested in knowing the 25 things I've learned in 25 years, make sure to keep on watching. Number one, true happiness comes within. I mean, I feel like we all struggle with this one, but just remember that you can create your own happiness. Number two, it's never too late to try something new. Even with my YouTube channel, I always felt like I should have started it way earlier. It's never too late to even start new hobbies. Um, tennis is one of my interests that I feel like I want to start. Number three, trust your gut and intuition. I don't think there's anything more to say with that word. Number four, you have a voice, make use of it. Even with my YouTube channel, I never thought I would reach so many people. Make sure that you are heard in every situation. It doesn't even have to be an online stance. Just make sure that you are heard and that you use your voice for your good. Number five, always look your best. This one, I think, is a big one. Um, because I used to always want to walk around like, oh, no, not many people are going to see me. But, you know, I have to take care of my appearance. Your appearance is one of the first things that says a lot about yourself without even you opening up your mouth. It has so much to say about who you are. So definitely make sure you always look your best. Number six, relationships end. This one is a big one for me because even when I into relationships with guys i always imagine myself being with that person forever but relationships end whether that be ending in you guys don't speak to each other anymore or ending in a terms of you guys got married so relationships do end and that's why family is so important keep your family close to you and with that being said also friendships do end and it's okay there's no bad blood with accepting a friendship that didn't work out you know you can just take the life lessons and make sure that you obviously learn from it and you just it makes you a better person and a better friend in future number seven setting boundaries is necessary guys i can't emphasize enough how much i've struggled with this one in my life i literally feel like i have weak boundaries i had to make that decision to set boundaries that were necessary for myself and i think the mindset shift that actually made that happen for me was the fact that i realized that this person that's being uncomfortable with the boundary that i set is actually robbing me of my freedom and that's when i realized mm -mm, my freedom sorry <laughs> and setting boundaries makes you more free number eight gratitude is everything number nine no one cares so why should you no one really cares like honestly i actually had to tell myself like bro nobody cares nobody cares that you're having a youtube channel no one cares that you're doing these things no one cares i think apart from your subscribers and that's why i love you guys so much like yeah I, you guys yeah you guys are the best honestly number 10 make time for your health this one is a big one i feel like many people don't make time to take care of their bodies whether that be just exercising drinking more water and having movement in general and that's why i really stress on me working out even if you can't afford a gym make sure that you're doing home workouts there's so many home workout videos on youtube and you can even go on a walk like i go on walks i go on hot girl walks and they are so therapeutic i feel so great afterwards and yeah like move your body move your body and also drink lots of water this is something that is such a conscious effort every day but i think the rewards of drinking a lot of water is overlooked so definitely make sure you guys are drinking enough water like at least that you know number 11 you are beautiful just the way you are there was times when i used to grow up and i felt so so insecure guys like i felt insecure and a lot of guys also have rejected me in my past so that is also like 
cause myself to feel insecure about myself and just not even a looks expert just my personality i feel like my personality is so beautiful and i no one can take that away from me no one can take that away from me and i cherish myself so much because of that just because i am who i am i'm so happy number 12 don't be so hard on yourself like don't take yourself so seriously i laugh at myself you guys see i laugh at myself a lot in my videos if you watch my vlogs you would have seen that i laugh a lot at myself only because i decided not to take life so seriously anymore and nothing has to be so perfect all the time and nothing has to always go the way i expected it to go honestly i also love change now so with that being said i also embrace change and change like being here was very a big change for me coming back home was a big big change for me and i had to embrace it so i think i was so attached to my initial plans to the point where change just wasn't what i wanted so i had to let go and just let god that one just came out that wasn't a number <laughs> number 13 record your memories as you guys can tell with all my vlogs i record all my memories here i also try to take lots of photos that i don't really even share with the world i just i just record memories now because i just feel like i know looking back and even when i look back at like let's say my snapchat videos or anything i cringe i would like i cringe but i'm happy that i can see that part of me i'm happy that i embrace that side of me and it really also measures growth within myself had i not taken photos in the past had i not taken videos in the past i wouldn't have seen how much i've changed or be able to notice how much i've changed to get to where i am today and honestly i never in a million years thought that this is what i'll be many years ago like i just never thought that this is exactly where i'll be it's just crazy 14 ask for help you can't do it on your own honestly this is something i struggle with myself i try to be so independent all the time when you allow someone to help you you give them the happiness of knowing that oh my gosh i actually got to help this person so you're robbing them of an opportunity to do you good i realized that and i just want to embrace help from others and not be so independent to think that i have all the superpowers and i can do it on my own <laughs> number 15 meditate on the scripture this gives me peace i meditate on the scripture this is this one is a new one for me let me quickly get my book i have a a, a book where i write down my scriptures so okay there it is let me just quickly get it so this is the book where i write my scriptures in i wanted to share one for this video one of my favorites these days that give me so much peace it says yeah matthew 6 verse 33 but seek first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you when i think about that if i just seek him if i just seek the lord everything else will be added on to me so i don't have to worry it's so it just gives me so much peace and i just wanted to share that one with you guys number 16 don't like your story change it there was a point where i was so i was depressed and i didn't like the way i did things i feel like i was very mediocre i was very lazy i wouldn't put enough effort but i would still have so much expectations in my lack of effort of things and i would get disappointed constantly because i would not put in the work that it required for it to be good and i just decided i'm not gonna be that way i'm gonna put all my effort in everything i do nothing is overlooked as a small test for me anymore and that's why i tend to be a little bit more serious so i'm still trying to balance that for myself 17 be curious about everything yeah be curious about everything i tend to be close-minded about topics that i feel like i have no interest in or I, I wouldn't care for even if i have a conversation with somebody i would be like oh my gosh why are we talking about this but now i just felt that that was very disrespectful and i want to be a person that's teachable so i want to be more teachable all the time i just want to be an open canvas where i don't have to box myself into what i think i know about myself or what i think I am how would I know what I like 
or what I don't like if I don't even give it a try. 18. As corny as it sounds, the present is a gift. Being present for me has literally changed the game. Um, it has changed my mindset because when I moved here in Ochigarongo, I didn't even know how I was gonna move forward with my channel because I didn't know what kind of videos I would be able to do here. I There was a point where I was like, why should I even continue with my channel, you see? But I had to make sure that I just use what I have now to the best of my capabilities. And that's why I am where I am. I've just decided to embrace every single day for what it is. Whatever does come, I'm gonna make the most of it. And there's really nothing more to say. Um, the present is a gift. The present is a gift. 19, everything is a choice. If you're feeling bad about yourself right now, you're choosing that. If you are happy and you're happy to be watching this video and you're so happy you clicked and you learned something new, you chose that. Everything is a choice. Who you are at the end of the day is a choice. You decide to be beautiful. You decide that you're gonna start a fitness journey and you're gonna start to be as consistent as you possibly can. You're gonna do your level best to keep up with it you decide everything is a choice and once i decided that it's like i am literally gonna take control 20. your comfort zone is a good place to visit not to live in this one is a big one for me i get so comfortable when i see a video is doing good i'm like oh my gosh it's doing good it got so many views and i got so many subscribers i'm sorry for comparing everything on my youtube channel but my youtube channel is a big big thing for me so um and then i would feel like oh i don't have to vlog or i don't need to do plan other videos or i don't have to come up with a new concept for my channel because i get comfortable you know i get comfortable and i still want more for myself and yet i'm comfortable i'm just comfortable because i'm comfortable you know even in relationships we get comfortable and that's why sometimes relationships don't work out because you get comfortable so Comfortability is nice, but you shouldn't live in it. 21. You cannot avoid heartbreak. This one is a big one for me because I used to, when I'm in a relationship and I am starting to feel insecure or I start to feel like, is this guy really interested in me? Do I, like I start doubting my place in the relationship. I would sometimes like build walls or I would, I would, rely on like some defensive subconscious actions that i would take such as i would maybe start ignoring him or i would do i would do a lot okay and i wouldn't call him as much or i'll just try to fall back and i feel like that was very toxic of me i can hold myself accountable for that and i used to do that because i was so afraid of getting my heart broken and when and when i realized that doing that and not doing that it doesn't avoid a heartbreak it doesn't make it any less painful and any less heart-wrenching you know so yeah you can't avoid heartbreak especially when you do put your heart out there it's okay you can get through it though you know heartbreak is not the end of the world so I I'm, I'm here aren't I and I went through how many heartbreaks so <laughs> 22 it is not always your feelings that get hurt but a lot of the times it's your ego for me this one is a big one i feel like it's also related to relationship sense and also in life in general let's say i would be asked to wash the floor for example so my mom would ask me to wash the floor and i wash the floor you know i mop it i mop it and she comes back and she says like no you didn't do a good job do it again or like did you even do it you know she'd ask did you even do it like it looks so dirty and i would feel so offended like i would be like huh how can you even say that like you're uh, disregarding all my efforts or something like that you know but i had to realize that um it's not my feeling sometimes we all have egos within ourselves we all have you know emotions that we're dealing with which is not always your feelings it's your ego that is in the way of you of your self-improvement your ego is in the way of your self-growth because you feel you know it all and you and you have it all when you don't we're all struggling you know in some aspect we don't all have it all together 23 healing is not linear 
this is one of the big things I had to understand because this one day I'd be like, oh my gosh, like what? I am doing so much better than I've ever been and I don't even know who did me bad. I had to learn that um, healing is not linear and one day you're gonna feel good and the next day you can feel like it's day one again and that's okay because it's not ever gonna be a straight line when it comes to healing and when it comes to healing yourself, so. It's just the way it is. 24. Do what makes you happy. This one is very simple and straightforward. Do what makes you happy. Honestly, put yourself first. Um, you all know what makes you happy. And if you don't know, try a lot of things. Try a lot of things. And number 25. Say, I love you more often. I feel like this one gets overlooked so many times because, you know, you don't want to be vulnerable and you don't want to say it even though you do feel it but I, I had to just understand that it's okay i say i love you to you guys all the time and i really try to make sure that you guys know that i really do love you guys um yeah saying i love you even my sister started saying i love you more often i was like why is this girl always ending our phone calls with i love you like girl i know but it's it's such a beautiful thing it's such a beautiful thing and you never know when it's your time to leave this earth when it's your time to say goodbye to someone else that is leaving this earth so say i love you guys say i love you as much as you can so with that being said i love you guys so much you guys are the biggest biggest motivators in my life you guys keep me going you guys make me you guys let me know that you know everything that i'm doing is amazing and thank you guys for always having me up in all my videos thank you guys for always sharing me sharing your thoughts of a video like it's so cool how you guys would like also relate to something that i said i'm like what that, that's so cool like i love you guys i really love you guys i could scream it out loud that i love you guys so much i just don't want you guys to ever forget that like i just don't want that i never want to take my stars for granted like ever i don't want that i don't want that give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it definitely make sure you subscribe to my channel and turn on my post notifications so that you'll be notified every single time i upload a video thank you guys so much for watching until next time i'll see you guys in my next video i love you guys Mwah.